हेलो एवरीवन टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन सो टू बिगिन विथ वी कंज्यूम फूड बिकॉज फूड इज द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज फ्यूल फॉर आर बॉडी सो दिस फूड इट कंबाइंस विद ऑक्सीजन बिकॉज वी ब्रीद we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide so this food it combines with oxygen to produce energy and during this process of producing energy there is carbon dioxide liberated there are also other wastes that are excreted out so this is nothing but a chemical reaction because these are the reactants and these are the products so food reacts with oxygen through oxidation and it produces energy which is utilized for our daily life activities and also during our exercise giving out carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is a waste that is given out during the process of a uh, this chemical reaction so uh, this reaction they require the help of a catalyst catalyst are nothing but they give a helping hand in a reaction and this reaction taking place in the human body is nothing but a biochemical reaction so the reaction with the help of enzymes so the food that we eat it consist of macro nutrients which is nothing but carbohydrates fats and proteins so the food the macro nutrients it combines with oxygen through the process of oxidation which is a chemical reaction and energy is produced giving out carbon dioxide now we consume carbohydrates fats and proteins now this production of energy is continuous even when we are at rest and even when we are exercising the need increases because energy we require more during our exercise so now the body can utilize carbohydrates it can utilize fats or it can utilize proteins as a source of fuel now the body doesn't prefer to use proteins as a source of fuel because proteins have a lot of other important functions in the body like it's the building block of your muscles tissues all of that so growth and repair yes proteins are required so the body opts for either carbohydrates or fats the body yes when need arises the body can utilize proteins as a source of fuel that is when the sources of carbohydrates and fats are limited a small amount that is the time when the body attacks the proteins as a source of fuel so primarily the body either prefers carbohydrates or fats for energy let us understand now we can either use carbohydrates as a source of fuel and we can also use fats as the source of fuel so when the body utilizes carbohydrates as the source of fuel it is glucose because carbohydrates during the process of digestion they break down to smaller units which is glucose and glucose can be used as the source of fuel fats also can be used as the source of fuel when fats break down they break down to glycerol and fatty acids so fatty acids also can be used as the source of fuel now consider glucose 
सो वेन यू आर यूजिंग ग्लूकोज एज अ सोर्स ऑफ फ्यूल ग्लूकोज केमिकल फॉर्मूला इज सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स सो यू आर यूजिंग ग्लूकोज विच इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट एज द सोर्स ऑफ फ्यूल टू प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी एंड दिस कंबाइंस विद ऑक्सीजन बिकॉज ऑफ योर ब्रीदिंग इट्स अ ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस एंड दिस गिवस एनर्जी गिविंग ऑफ सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एच टू ओ सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द बायो केमिकल रिएक्शन टेकिंग प्लेस इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी वेन वी यूज ग्लूकोज एज द सोर्स ऑफ फ्यूल सो नाउ कमिंग बैक टू रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन विच इज आर क्यू नाउ आर क्यू मीन्स द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लिबरेटेड डिवाइडेड बाय द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन यूटिलाइज दिस इज द आर क्यू वैल्यू the rq gives us the value of the volume of carbon dioxide produced to the amount that's the volume of oxygen consumed now when you are using glucose that is carbohydrates the rq value will be carbon dioxide produced is 6 molecules of carbon dioxide to the amount of oxygen which is 6 o2 so the amount is 1 so for carbohydrates the rq value is 1 now let us understand the rq value of fats that is so this is palmitate fatty acid so like i mentioned fats can be used as the source of fuel so palmitate which is a fatty acid when it oxidizes then it produces energy and there are 16 molecules of carbon dioxide liberated with 16 molecules of water so now the rq value is carbon dioxide liberated to the amount of oxygen which is nothing but 0.7 so the rq value of fat is 0.7 so carbohydrates the rq value was 1 and fats the rq value was 0.7 now just let us understand the comparison so for carbohydrates the rq value was 1 for fats the rq value is 0.7 and for proteins through the calculations the rq value is 0.9 so in comparison now with both where carbohydrates or fats can be used as the source of fuel you can clearly understand how efficient fat is as the source of fuel when you primarily use fats as the source of fuel the rq value that is calculated will be around 0.7 Now, when you compare both carbohydrates and fats as a source of fuel, you can clearly understand the difference. So, carbohydrates is giving you a RQ value of one, which is the amount of carbon dioxide you're giving off to the amount of oxygen you're utilizing during your breathing. 
so with fats it is 0.7 so that means it is 30% better 30% less carbon dioxide you're giving out when you're primarily using fats as the source of fuel now these are the values when your body is at rest that is basal metabolic rate but what when you start exercising so when you start jogging or sprinting running or you start weight training then the need for energy increases so therefore the rate increases when the rate increases you have to breathe in more oxygen and there is a lot of carbon dioxide liberated during this biochemical reaction so the need increases to breathe more amount of oxygen inside and give out a lot of quantity of carbon dioxide so that is where it clearly will state how fats is efficient source of fuel in my upcoming videos i'll explain in detail how important this source of fuel is for endurance athletes and also for people who are training and working out during exercising the need the energy demands increase and therefore the breathing increases so how efficiently you can breathe when you are at rest that is basal metabolic rate and even equally important when you are exercising so your body is working 30% 30% better when you are using fat as a source of fuel so in brief this respiratory quotient gives us a clear idea of how efficiently our body is utilizing the food that we eat the macronutrients for producing energy and also it gives us a thorough understanding of breathing how well we are consuming oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide so also people with breathing problems then definitely they breathe much better when they are using primarily fats as a source of fuel